Well, hello everyone. So, working on the John Deere A again today. Uh, you can see I've done a few other things that uh, weren't on video. Um, I got the pistons out and uh, I got the Coke can there. I don't know if anyone saw my short, just showing kind of the size of, uh, of the pistons. Pretty large and considering the G and the D are even bigger. But anyway, uh, I got the flywheel off. So I literally just manhandled that off. Um, I had my special flywheel wrench to grab the nuts on the back side. And uh, this was my wrench. And that pole there was my cheater bar. And I'm not kidding you. It took that pole and me on the end to break those flywheel nuts loose. In fact, that still didn't even do it. I had to have my father-in-law hammer on the end of this in order to break it free. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that was pretty darn tight. Uh, looking at the connecting rods, we have some bad news. So you'll see this one looks pretty nice. Sorry, get the focus. That one, not so nice. So um, this, these are Babbitt. They are not inserts. You can see that I got the shims here. Um, good news. The crank looks perfectly fine. Uh, so the Babbitt did its job. This was damaged, but not the crank. So uh, I'm actually going to take the crank out now. Considering this damage, I want to make sure... There's nothing in the main bearings. Um, since I can't get the pulley off because the wheel is too close, I'm actually going to see if I can pull the main bearing off on this side and uh, pull the crank through this way. Then as the crank comes through, take the pulley off. Because um, I can't even get to the main bearing over there unless I take the first reduction gear cover off. And to get that off, you got to have the pulley off. So, Bob's your uncle. Um, if I don't move that wheel, I think this will work. We'll find out. Um, so, yeah. I, I might take the block off also. Um, talk to a gentleman. Talked about having that honed. He was going to inspect it, and while I got it apart, the gasket set typically comes with this gasket anyway. So I'll put a new gasket in there, and it'll be like it's all new. Um, then we'll see. I, I really I want to minimize what I take apart, but at this point, um, you know, the oil pump and everything looks clean, so I don't want to take that apart. And the uh, camshaft here, we'll take a better look at it. Um, take the camera in from the... Uh, access port there and, and see what it looks like but um, if everything seems fine there's no play in anything I'd like to minimize what I take apart but at this point the only thing still left on it is the crankshaft and the camshaft so anyways okay uh, so um, I needed to take this flywheel off anyway in order to replace this seal behind here uh, this has been leaking oil Hence, you can see oil on it. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get the rubber seals. There's a certain gentleman that has rubber instead of cork. It's like my G. I've replaced the cork twice, and it still leaks oil. Um, so something's not right on that. Not sure it's just a worn spot on the crankshaft. I mean, you don't see it. You don't, I think, feel anything. But So, yeah. Um... We're going to take this apart, take this cover apart, unbolt the main, and uh, see if we can get that crankshaft out of there. Alright, so we got this piece off, and behind this piece, and you'll see it as part of this, is this piece here. So it sticks out like that. And the flywheel has a tab on it that engages with that slot there. You can see this one is kind of worn. There you can see it. Um, but it's still doing its job. And then in here, it's kind of hard to tell, is a cork washer. 
So hopefully get that replaced. And now moving on to the main bearing. Uh, I mean, it's bolted to everything. I mean, it's supposed to have clearance here. I think like three thousandths or something. Um, this is shimmed. These are shims right here. And these are Babbitt bearings in here, just like the connecting rods. Uh, they're Babbitt, but they're like insert Babbitts. Um, yeah, so we'll take this apart and hopefully get this uh, crank out. Oh, oh, before you start pulling on things, uh, don't forget you've got an oil line attached to that main bearing and an oil line attached to that one right there. So don't go pulling on that until you got that oil line disconnected. All right, good news. Um, you know, with it being still in the main bearing over there, the crank, I needed to draw this off straight. The bolts in it were too short, so I got a longer bolt here. Kind of what's holding it to is it's still resting on this stud here. And uh, just like that, I was able to get the pulley off. Uh, so now, I believe this crank is ready to come out. All right, folks, I lied. Um, the crank is hitting on the inside, so before I can take this out, I actually have to um, undo the main bearing over there. So let's walk around to that side. Uh, so we got to take the brake off because that's in the way of the first reduction gear cover. To take that off, we got to take this off first. And there's a nut in here for the first reduction gear. We gotta take that off. Then we take the first reduction gear cover off. And I think that's it. So let's go for it. Okay, so I got the brake out. Uh, that was just two bolts there. I think the later generations are three. Uh, like my, I know my B was three bolts. I thought one is like a stud. Not on this one, two bolts. Uh, so I wanted to show you uh, this bolt operation here. So somebody added this grease zerk on here and why they added that was this bearing in here never gets lubricated. Um, so some people put a grease zerk on it and grease it, whether it's needed, debatable. Um, anyway, there's a, uh, cotter pin in there so we got to get that out get this nut off and then we take all of the bolts free on the first reduction gear cover um yeah we'll just keep moving on from there well i have to say that was the easiest i've ever had one of these come off so these first reduction gear covers they've got so much gasket area that they like to stick. Not only that, you've got an alignment pin here, an alignment pin here, and thought, um, I, I just can't reach right now with the camera. You've got a stud down there. But anyway, they, they like to get hung up a little bit, and you gotta kinda start somewhere and work your way around. Um, I've got an old screwdriver that I hammered two times, and that just becomes like my uh, chisel that I real thin chisel that I used to break in the gasket and get a little force going um, One interesting thing is this bearing is supposed to be in there. It's like, kind of like a press fit, but um, It was on that shaft enough that I'm, I'm gonna have to pull that off in order to get that bearing off because normally uh, this would come off and the gear were uh, comes with the cover so you got to be careful you'll see I have an oil bucket there so um, this will have oil in it uh, it feeds from the main bearing it kind of fills this trough here well I'm sorry it doesn't fill the trough because this drains back into the engine but the oil slung onto the pulley and then this gear settles on there and then this just bathes in it in the bottom um, 
When I took this apart, I heard a blop uh, that went into that bucket. So I'm going to drain that out to see what fell in there. But I suspect it was a big blob of grease, like I said. So you can see somebody was greasing it. Then I already cleaned this out. I guess I could have showed you beforehand. But this was just full of grease here in the bottom. Um, so I want to take that out of there and uh, make sure there isn't a part that I'm forgetting. I don't think that there is. I had a, the nut washer, but there is another, at least on the later tractors, I thought another piece. It might be, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's that piece right there. That's what I'm thinking of in between the bearing and the gear. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take the bolts out of this main bearing, and uh, we'll get that crankshaft out now. Uh, something to note, so, you know, the other main bearing over there is on the outside of the tractor, so it requires a gasket. This one is inside, gets oiled. It does not require a gasket. And of course, now that I had finished that clip, I realized what went in the bucket. I think it was my spring for the camshaft here. There's a spring that goes in here, rests against here. I think it somehow worked its way down and went into the bucket. So we will recover that uh, later. But just know, don't lose that. Don't forget to put that back in later. Okay, so that had some fun to it. Um, I ended up, I had to use a puller to get the bearing off of this. And then I had to use a puller to get the gear off. And um, I had a lot of tension on that puller. So I was hammering on the end of the puller to try and uh, get it to break free. And... Uh, it finally did with a big hammer, I'm not kidding, you, uh, tapping it with a sledgehammer. And the thing literally bounced off the wheel and landed there. Um, yeah, so we got the crank off. Now I've decided to just lay it there because I don't know. I'll take some measurements maybe. I don't know that I want to take it anywhere or that it needs machined. Um, however, I so the purpose of taking the crank out too was to look at the main bearings. This one looks okay. I know it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but uh, let me show you the one on the other side. So it's hard to tell from the video what is color versus scoring, but this has a little bit to it. Um, I'm going to get a second opinion on that, see if I can just leave it as is or if I should do anything with them. Um, so yeah, and then looking up, not sure how well we can see things, or what the focus is, I apologize if the focus wasn't good. The camshaft looks really good, so I may not even take that apart. Um, to take that apart, you just take this out here, but then you gotta undo the bolts to this gear, and, and if I don't need to take it apart, I won't. Um... So I've got a lot of parts to order, a lot of things to think about on this, so I may not have a video for a few more weeks till I start getting stuff in. I've got parts for the radiator in. I can start taking that apart and uh, putting that together. And yeah, so uh, you all have a good day, and uh, we'll see what we get into next time.